Baroth. Only one obscure remains between us and survival. And Warren has, has that quest for us. Make it quick. End game. We need to get rid of that flying gunship if our people have any chance of escaping. Here's the plan. Kill Harbor had a chair of rebel sympathizers in the old days. I managed to round up a hefty amount of incendiary explosives from one of our storehouses. We're going to hit the enemy with a force small enough to fly undetected. The night elf hippogriff should do the trick. Tobias will give you the signal when we're ready to go. There's Tobias. Uh, let's give everyone time to gather. We need a handful of people to come with us. Okay, we just have to dawdle here a moment. Well, there's only three hippogriffs here, so uh, one other person. We must bide our time. They won't know what hit them. Um, am I forgetting? Forgetting to do something here, or what? I have no idea. Greetings, Kolgorot. Uh, Admiral Nightwind. Never heard of him before, and for some reason he's flagged as, friend as part of the Linnaeus faction, rather than Darnassus. Well, unlike these, all these Sentinels. We've been walled up for far too long. Am I somehow messing up here? What is it? The only risk worth taking are the ones that lead to victories worth having. Oi. We'll set flight once everyone is ready. I don't remember this being such a pain. To be honest, I don't re even remember these altogether too well. These quests. Do I have to go talk to someone? Do I have to... Like, do I have to go get the person? Or are they, we just waiting for them to spawn in? That's the stable master. He's, I doubt he's involved. Patience, friends. We'll strike soon. Really? Base mount will hurry the fuck up. Quite dashing, if I may say so myself. Well, my character looks that way with the top hat anyway. Yes. Hold your horses, friend. We'll hit them when we're all ready. I will drop this quest to restart, damn you. Do I need another player to do this with me? Apparently I've waited here long enough. I can hop on, but he hasn't said anything. Time to go. Finally. You utter asshole. Says, oh, we have to wait for a small force, and I'm the only one apparently going. Could have told me that five seconds ago. Could have been there that bit sooner. <sighs> What's this trying to tell me? Red Ridge Mountains, the Warsong Gulch, Wintervale, Westfall, Darkshore, Blood Mist, Loch Modan, Wintervale. There's some forsaken ships down there, and here is the orc, uh, the um, horde gunship. Okay, 
Need some good name sharpshooters and Warna. For good names, proximity to Warner Crowley gi uh, gives you high morale. So, it's just a Huey thing going on. Seriously, no pockets to pick. Asshole. How dare you have no pockets. <laughs> Suddenly the, the grunt just loses interest. That's kind of funny. Also, I did end up walking like I just like one shot him there. God, they got glass jaws. I know I did that on one of them, and that did a fair bit of damage. Actually, with two points, it does 350 damage, which is like the hit point max they had. To stay behind and cover the deck. Everyone else, use the ropes to repel down. Let's give them hell. Uh, but. Christ, they've got glass jaws. Sinister Strike, an instant strike that causes 401 physical damage. My men will give you your new bearing. You try anything funny, and we'll fill you with lead. The rest of you, follow me downstairs. Okay, Navigator and Admiral Stormblood. Seriously, 401 damage. That must be a glitch. No, apparently I'm meant to be doing 401 damage. Don't mind me, just juggernaut walking on through. Ugh, Christ. Choking on my own something. Uh, don't mind me, just juggernaut walking on through. Oh, and there's friendly wyverns over there reason they're friendly. God damn, I'm burly. This is a bit, ended up doing a bit less than 400 there, it's like 300 and something, but still. Crom Bone Grind, the mechanist. I don't know how they made this guy. Like, the only time you see this is like fell corruption or something. And apparently, this Worgen guy does not tank you. Uh, it's like fell corruption or scourge corruption or something. Uh, uh, scourge corruption mutated, you know, normal trolls into like d this kind of behemoth. But, you know, troll. Uh, Christ, this does over a thousand bleed damage. Am I meant to be this per- Ah, it's for, for Gunea's tank. I forgot about the, the damage buff it gives. Jump on the wyverns. How do you know what they are? Ooh, nice. I did not think it crashed down right on, you know, on the Forsaken line. That's quite nice, actually. Why am I flying back to it? Where the fuck is it gone? Damn, it exploded so hard it disappeared. For a moment I thought it was going to be like those cutscenes and constantly flying back and forth. But this time with no way to, you know, break out of it. Maybe logging out, but... Oof. But yeah, they never did explain how they got that big burly orc, because normally it's only corruption of different types, and they don't actually have access to any of that stuff. And I, I'm not sure if Garrosh would want it in this case. He does want them using Plague, so I doubt they would want Scourge or uh, Fell Corruption of Orcs, you know? Not that, like I said, they would even have access to it. So, it's weird. What is it? 
We did it, Cole Garage. We, uh, we've started the evacuation. We soon will have the Forsaken Fleet in the dust. Everyone aboard the ships now. We did- you did it! We're saved! Yelled generic skill name survivor number 10. Oh, there's Melinda Hammond. She's still alive. Oh, and her kids, um... Uh, but did, did we ever find Cheryl? I don't think so. Little girl, round eight. Uh, greetings, Kogorot. Rotarian village. Uh, are you ready to set sail, Kogorot? Your people have be been granted shelter in the lands of the Kaldorai. Do not worry, Worgen. Your people will get a chance to fight for Gonaeus again. This time, with the full strength of the Alliance. I, I re really do hope sometime in the soon future we get a chance to actually do that. Uh, and actually, re you know, fight to retake Gonaeus. Would be nice. Excuse me. But, we'll have to wait and see what happens. I have no quests at present, but that will change soon. Once I saunter on in here a bit. Actually, out of curiosity, that's 10 to 20. So, I'm still within the range of doing quests here. What about over here? 10 to 15. Red Ridge must be 15 to 20. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 15 to 20. Tempted in heading to Red Ridge. Anyway, here's uh, Kernan. I keep saying well, his name differently every time. So this is it. Our new home. I'm not sure if I'll ever feel like I truly have a home again. We mustn't be unappreciative of what the Night Elves have offered us, though. The race is not one to is not one to throw out idle welcomes to just anyone. It is a true testament to, to fate and generosity that they've taken us in. Gwen and Greymane are in the city proper, as they howl an oak. You should uh, you should stop by. Take the portal beneath the tree north of us, then seek out the howl an oak in the nor northern portion of the city. Alright, throwing on over. Probably should just go by the um, land. A bit quicker. A bit quicker. And in Cataclysm, this Howling Oak was added. It wasn't there previously, as far as I remember. Remember, well, Scenarian Enclave, Craftsman Terrace. No, not there. And actually, there was something cool in uh, the Scenarian Enclave. It's gone now because of plot. But there's an NPC that you could turn in marrow grain to and get some nice rewards. Uh, there's another NPC in Ferraris, I believe. The Ferraris over here. Uh, you could also turn it into. It's, they're actually related. Uh, one well, guy would just, you know, take it in and reward you for it with a bag of gubbins. While with the Ferraris one, they were actually investigating why he wanted it. Turns out he was actually trying to po poison Alfurion. Um, I know something was up with the guy. I don't remember what. Okay, dark fight. And there's just some ran random mountain horses over here. Good to see that they survived. And we got another weird tree linking blue sap. Fantastic! That's what I always wanted. And here's this funny thing with the Derenassian Sentinels. If you go to Profession Trainer, uh, and Enchanting, I'm flattered, but I'm really, but really, I'm not interested. What? You want to know where to learn Enchanting? Oh, how embarrassing. Well, you should, I'm sure you could, uh, go see, um, Taladan. Yes, tell then over into the Craftsman's Terrace. Mm -hmm. Do you find that funny? And, ooh, here's the... Uh, someone I actually don't remember. Uh, Archmage Mordant Evershade, part of the Highborn. 
The Highborn were a night elf faction over in Flowers, actually, in Dire Maul. Uh, here, they still study magic, whatnot. They sealed themselves off for the rest of the night elf people for quite a while. Cataclysm, they rejoined, which allowed night elves to become mages again. Get Gavin or get going. The arcane momentum taken. Good day. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at that so we actually know what the fuck that is. Uh, talk about the arcane momentum technique. Arcane momentum is a technique that allows mages to use their physical momentum to dictate the direction of their blink spell, rather than the basic technique of blinking direction you're facing. I like to learn the technique and be able to move blinking direction I'm moving. Yes. Farewell. But that means nothing because I'm not one. And here's old Google names talking to a Tauran of the Wild. Uh, the Warlock trainer's talking with the Highborn guy. Uh, oh, there's Gwen Armstead. Now level 88. Well done. Oh, here's the War in Defense. You look like the type I should watch my coin purse around. Something I can help you with? You know me. Keep your chin up, eh? My god. She got she got a bonk and a nog. Uh, Bellasa Starbreeze. Oh, it'll be with you, Rogue. Get Gavin or get going. We are bound Wait, by a common what enemy. What can I do? Do not turn you? your back on the light, Rogue. Maybe the one thing that saves it may be the one thing that saves you one day. Long live Greymane. Yeah, sure. Waste my time. Uh, he says the same thing as earlier yes, and Huntsman Blake. Be, be very, very quiet. There's war again everywhere. No That's shit! No shit! <laughs> the I know he's just saying his di he's presumably saying his dialogue from the first time around, but it's just, yeah, you, know, you know, when you first come into the game and you're fleeing the worgen. But they really should have changed it. And then the, that oh, thing over there is for the Darnassus enchanting thing. This oak was grown through the aid. Um, this oak was grown through the aid of the druids uh, from a seed taken back. I'm sorry, this is making no sense. This oak was grown through the aid of the druids from a seed taken back on Gunaeus. From Gunaeus, I'm sure you mean. It stands for all that we've endured and all that we've accomplished. Made all it may serve to remind us that our curse is also our blessing. It seems that you have your first charge. Uh, you must travel uh, back down to. Ah, here we go. Good evening. Princess, Sir, uh, Princess Saranda, we did not expect you. Good evening. I hope my people have been welcoming to you. These are burdened times, so I fear much may be competing with your good graces. Not at all, Princess. We are very grateful for all that you have offered us here. When we spoke previously, you offered to repay the favor. I may have to act on that sooner than I would have liked. There is trouble at Lord Danau. A village of ours across the water from Rutarian. If any of your people can be spared, I fear war encroaching upon us in Kalmdor. I, I know the perfect people for such a task. I'll send them immediately, Priestess. Thank you again. I am glad to see such poise and comp composure from your people. Perhaps your curse does not define you after all. We will take our leave. Again, welcome to all of you. I remember him saying. I swear, I remember him saying something different before. It's, uh, something shittier. Like I, I can just remember my response being like, "Like you're one to talk, you elven, you know, antlered, feathered fuck, <laughs> or something." But uh, yeah, yeah, no, he's less prickish this time. Will prevail. It seems you have your first charge. You must travel back down to Rotarian Village, where we first arrived, and speak to Vespritus to secure the ride to Lord Danau. Once you Lord Danau, it denied us in any way you are able. I'm trusting you to treat them with the reverence that they deserve in light of all that they've done for us. I must travel to the distant city of Stormwind to meet with King Anduin. I hope to see your face again very soon, Kogorot. Until then, a fond farewell. Notice they made the change there.